So, so in megatrends, uh, China, you compare uh, China and its development with that of a corporation. So I wonder what can uh, leaders in business and in society generally learn from the development of that huge corporation called China? Well, it, it makes clear, evidently, that the process can be applied to a scale that it's never been applied to before. I mean, the scale of, in both ways, both uh, with uh, 1.3 billion people, which is larger than most corporations, and, uh, and in, the, in the sense of uh, how far they had to come. They were right down on the ground, totally bankrupt, and going from there to going up. That, that height that they ro rose is probably greater than we've ever seen in any other institution or, or company for that matter. At the same time, keeping in mind, they, doing it with such an incredible scale. Um, when we were starting to write uh, megatrends, of course we were, uh, China's megatrends, we were thinking about uh, how, what do we feel when we look at China? And one of the examples that uh, we were very impressed with was one of the state-owned companies, which was a rundown company and then was turned around. It's a, today a very well-known company, Haya. And in a way, what happened at Haya was the same uh, as what happened with China. And that's how our comparison began. Because uh, if you look at a company or a country which is down and at the heels, you cannot, the CEO cannot just give orders and say, okay, let's fix the company. He has to engage the people so that the people, so that the workforce makes it their own goal as well as the company goal. And commitments. And commi Without uh, identification with the company and without having a share, you don't commit. So just like uh, Hire engaged and first woke up the people and said, look, what a mess you have here, and pull up your sleeve and start working, but I will also empower you. Uh, I give you the freedom to contribute. And that's, that was one of the first things that China did or China's leadership did, they empowered the people to get their share on, uh, on the economic development. Of course, it wasn't from one day to the other that uh, the, the freedom economically was as it is today. It was a, a, a process, but uh, certainly without this identification with uh, building up our company, our China, it could not have happened. On our website globalleadership.tv you will find additional footage, other dialogues with innovation leaders from around the world, and also the hands-on practices that help them and their organizations to move from inspiration to real change. <laughs>